Namaste. Today I have a very special guest, Swami Chidanand Puri ji from Calicut, Kerala. He is a uh, he 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 heads the Advait Ashram, uh, and uh, also uh, is on the faculty of uh, uh, University of Calicut. Has written over fifty books. Is on a tour of uh, U.S. and I am deli- I'm delighted and honored to have him visit our home. And welcome, Swamiji. Namaste, namaste. I am very happy to be here with you. You know, when people in India worry about Islamic influence, they don't think about South. You know, many times they think that uh, basically the foreign funding there is mostly Christian. You know, Christian influence in Kerala. Uh, and Islam is probably not active, but Islam is very active. There, there are a lot of uh, terror-oriented cells, Islamists, with an ideology to create an Islamic state. How is that happening in Kerala? What is the state of uh, media responsibility, political people, education people, vis-a-vis uh, what these Islam pro-Islamic uh, groups are doing in Kerala? Uh, to be frank. Kerala is the uh, it's the breeding room or breeding space uh, of uh, Islamic fundamentalism in India. Really, really, there is no doubt in that. So you don't think it's just a few isolated cases? But no, it is not isolated. Even I, I think you might have heard of Chakanur Moilavi. He was a great man, having love and affection to all religions and uh, was a real man so he he was uh, killed 25 years back by islamic fundamentalist groups even now it is not clear where his body was what they did with that body even now it is not clear so Jamaat Islami and of course Mujahid movement and Welfare Party of India all are strongly working there. Their network is that much powerful and see the the rate of growth of population. On an average Hindus and Christians have one or two children in one family whereas on an average there are six children in in muslim family and they're encouraged yeah they're encouraged uh, so this is uh, this is posing a great problem for the future and uh, from the age of 3 they are getting madrasa education and the media and the pseudo politicians they are for vote bank and vote bank is that much strong in kerala and you know some years back sdpi the organization sdpi asked for a division of kerala into two states mm. one malabar state and the other kerala state in those days muslim league kept mum they didn't come to see and last year the youth faction of muslim league that is muslim youth league they came forward and demanded the same thing. Kerala should be uh, divided to two states. One would be Muslim. What was the reason for dividing? Dividing means uh, Malabar state, if they get, it will be uh, 60 or 70 percent Muslim population. So population. they wanted like a Pakistan within yeah. Ma- yeah. Iran, uh, Kerala. Yeah. Yeah. Partition to create a Muslim enclave yeah. with its of own course. state. Of course. Of course. So the literature being published in uh, Kerala and uh, political movements in Kerala, if we observe very closely, we can see uh, the picture is uh, very alarming, alarming. And uh, so many recruitments were there uh, done by ISIS people from Kerala. So NIA is uh, probing the cases, but the situation because I am I am staying there daily I am going to two three places different places to give lectures uh, and uh, I am much connected with the society common men the common society you see so the situation in Kerala is very alarming so now 
uh, do you think this is to do with the fact that Kerala was exporting a lot of people to the Middle East, lot of maids were going, lot of labor, uh, you know, for the last 30, 40 years I have remembered since I was a child, uh, Kerala was sort of sending a whole lot of people to the Middle East because they needed labor. And, and uh, one of the leading states from India at that time at least for many decades was Kerala. And when they come back, they have some influence, some Islamic influence, maybe they get converted, maybe if they are already Muslim, they get radicalized, if they are not Muslim, they get converted. Do you think that that, that has something to do with where the money is coming from? Yes, that is one factor. That, and that factor is an important factor, that money. Not only money, the uh, influence of uh, Gulf countries, that is one. Another is, the the pseudo politicians they are they are supporting or they are uh, they are making the common uh, uh, muslims to think in the in the line of uh, radical mm. muslims so they're radicalizing they, they the are, muslims they are digging their own graveyards mm. these politicians but they are not realizing that no but they are digging the graveyard long term when they may not be around yeah. They are just looking for short term what they'll get out of it. Yeah, only to get vote. Yeah, because to appease the vote bank. Yeah, they are doing all these mm. things. And money, probably those guys are funding them also. That we do not know. Yeah, uh, it might be there. Yeah, so this connects with the next issue, which is education. Uh, there is also part of this radicalization by Islam, part of the conversion by the Christians part of this movement of uh, leftist because the communists are ruling. The, co the state government in Kerala has been a communist government, very openly communist party government. So this is, this requires them to constantly have an anti-Hindu rhetoric, Hindu phobic rhetoric and lot of misconceptions, lot of mis, uh, lot of false things, false interpretations of Bhagavad Gita as a casteist uh, yeah. doctrine. Uh, you know, a whole lot of uh, interpretation of Shastras as being sort of anti-women, all of that is going on. So, what are your views on that and what, what should be done? Because Kerala is also the home of Adi Shankara. Kerala is the home of so much Kerala school of Vedic mathematics. Kerala has traditionally been so important for the Vedic tradition and it's going away. So, what do you think of the situation in that regard in the intellectual space, who is controlling the intellectual space and what should be done? The intellectual space, to be frank, it is fully brainwashed. All uh, literary work you see, novels, stories, poems, and those who are uh, teaching uh, in the party forums, all are speaking against Hinduism. All are speaking against Hinduism. They do not know what Hinduism is. But they are making their own conception and they are criticizing. They are not ready to learn. Without proper studies, they are criticizing. And uh, the media also is uh, showing umbrella. Hmm. So all this, you see, from uh, the very formation of Kerala state, there were only two instances when uh, Hindus were education ministers. Hmm. All the other education ministers so far. Non-Hindus. Non-Hindus. Mainly from Muslim community. It was there. Uh, only two ministers were from Hindu religion. They two communist people. They two communist people. When uh, Congress rules or when communist rules, the case is the same. So, you know, this is a very old strategy of both Christianity and uh, communism, Marxism, yes. Yes. that uh, you should control the system of learning, propaganda, media, education. Yes. Because if you do that, then long term you will get the benefit. Yeah, exactly. That is what happened. And uh, so, we have to develop uh, trainers. We have to develop the so-called teachers, teachers who can go around and teach Sanatana Dharma 
and uh, who can dehypnotize the hypnotized Kerala society. That is the urgent need of the present day. See, they are they are saying, speaking all sorts of nonsense like uh, uh, there was caste system in uh, Gita, in our Shastras and all. Uh, whereas there is no caste system. No, but Gita is very clear that your Varna is based on your Guna. Yeah, uh, Guna Karma Vibhagasya. Yeah. Karma and Guna. Guna and Karma. Yeah. Uh, it has nothing to do with caste system. Yeah. It is not by birth. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, Hindu system is against women. Yeah. Uh, uh, like uh, quoting one, uh, one sentence from Manu Smriti in right. Swadantriya Marhadi. Right, right. Uh, whereas Manu himself, he, uh, he, uh, there is one verse from Manu Smriti, you can see, Atra Najastu Pujyande Ramande Tatra Devataha. So to have uh, a society, uh, prosper society, prosperity and all, you must worship or you must give importance to women. So says Manu. So without studying all this, you are, you are showing one side of uh, our Shastras that to your own to your own way. interpretations yes. without studying traditionally. Right. That is what is happening in, not only in Kerala, it is happening everywhere, yes. but that is, uh, they, are, they are getting more, more forums, more voice in Kerala. So what is being done to counter this? Uh, we are working in Kerala, so many sannyasins are working, uh, so many teachers are working, and of course, uh, Bharatiya Vichara Kentram, it is a group, formulated by RSS, they are working and so many sannyasins for uh, as, as far as I am concerned, I am, I am daily moving here and there at least two places I am reaching, interior villages and giving lectures. Like that so many teachers are working in Kerala. So that change will come, mm. there is no doubt, Kerala also is slowly changing. See, uh, from the past, I, I don't know from what period they are teaching or they are propagating Kerala is a special zone. Mm. Politicians are saying that and uh, intelligentsia is saying that, art people are saying that Kerala is a special zone. It is uh, uh, not uh, the, 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 it is not like other part of India. Mm -hmm. uh, that is absurd. Sure. Kerala has no speciality. Kerala is a part of India. Sure. Kerala is a part of Bharat, not India. Right, right. Uh, part of Bharat. But repeatedly saying this, even Kerala people are thinking we are having something special. Right, right. No, there is no speciality. Right, 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 right. So, uh, last election time, the uh, communist people, uh, they, there was, a, there was a, an advertisement given by Marxist people that is uh, uh, development will win. Development will win and uh, all sorts of, uh, you know, Vargiyada. Vargiyada means uh, factionalism. Mm. Uh, it will go. This is Kerala. Mm. So when I saw that, that uh, sentence, I wrote another. This is Bharata. Mm. Very good. All the other sentence say. Yes, yes. All the other sentence say. Yes. This is Bharata. This yes. is not Kerala. Yes. When the... Kerala uh, floods happened, uh, your organization was the only organization Infinity Foundation supported because we did not want to give to any other organization since we don't know them. And uh, this is what uh, uh, Shalini had suggested and so we did that, uh, the Infinity Foundation India. And I would like to request uh, our viewers to understand this, that we must do our due diligence before we decide where to invest in the support. Uh, so organizations uh, like yours need the support because you are doing good work and we would like to continue doing that. We would like to continue collaborating. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste, namaste so much. Namaste.